George, you've signed a new three and a half year deal here at Bristol City. How how delighted are you with that? Yeah, I'm over the moon really. Um, yeah, it's uh, really exciting times. Um, I've enjoyed the last couple of seasons, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. You've seems as though you've really focused on your football this year and taken your game to the next level. How how do you feel as though you've developed? Yeah, I think I've uh, developed pretty well. Um, especially over the last six months. Um, sort of getting a run in the team has probably really helped me. Um, I sort of had to be patient to get my chance this season, but um, I think since playing games regularly, um, yeah, I'm, I feel like I've done really well. You arrived in, in the summer of 2021. You, you were kind of thrown into the deep end a little bit, had a run of games. Mm -hmm. Obviously, an injury hampered the back end of that season, but coming into this year, what was kind of really your, your motivation? Um, firstly, I just wanted to keep myself fit and keep myself in contention to play. Um, like you said, last season I had two back-to-back -back hamstring injuries, um, which was tough. So coming into this season, I just wanted to keep myself fit, um, just sort of play as many games as I can and um, just wait for that opportunity, really. And now you've really kind of had a, a full run uh, across a pro prolonged period in the first team at championship level, how, how have you found that? Yeah, I think, like I said, like the run of games has really helped me. Um, I feel like I've adapted well to this level. Um, and I certainly feel like comfortable playing at this level as well. Um, so I think for me now, over the next sort of three years, I've just got to try and develop even more, um, develop my game. Um, and just improve as much as I can, really. When you talk about that development aspect, you've got Nigel Pearson as manager, former defender, but obviously Curtis as well, used to play at fullback. How have you kind of found learning from those two, obviously, very experienced uh, previous players? Yeah, both very experienced. Um, yeah, I mean, they've helped me a lot. Um, it's nice to see that they obviously both believe in me. Um, so, yeah, their experience is, is very important. Um, I mean, the coaching staff, they've helped me a lot over the past year, year or two. Um, so, yeah, the, the support's there. It's just about me putting the performances on the pitch. From your first season at City, I think you, uh, you openly admitted you're a little bit more defensive-minded rather than an attacking right-back, wing-back as such. But this year, you seem to have really taken that game to a new level. Is that something that you've really looked to work on? Yeah, definitely. I think it's important that... Um, as players, we look at our game and sort of look at areas where we're trying to improve. Um, I think that's something I can still improve on. Um, but this year, I, I definitely think I've improved at that a lot. And there's still improvements that can be made. Um, so, yeah, I've just got to put that uh, into practice, really. And you've got a really good group of lads to do that with. You spoke about just about it outside, it kind of allows you to, to really develop it and let your football do the talking when you've got, basically you're playing with all your mates essentially, aren't you as well? Yeah, I mean, the group we've got at the minute is a really strong group. Um, it's a young squad. Um, you know, we're all really looking to push each other on. Um, and we're all sort of bonding really well together at the minute. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see um, players doing really well. Um, and, you know, hopefully we can sort of progress as a team over the next two or three seasons and see where we get to. You mentioned it there. What, from a personal standpoint, what's that ambition for yourself? Um, well, for myself, it's probably just to keep playing regular games in the Championship. Um, I think as a club, obviously, the end goal is, is promotion. Um, I think next season, the year after, with the squad, we've got, you know, we've got to be more competitive. Um, if we can just be a little bit more consistent and improve on our performances, um, you know, we should be fighting for playoffs and the top spot. Um, so yeah, with, with the players we've got, we know we're all hungry, um, all hungry for success.